Okay, you might have noticed a recent announcement from Zero after ZeroCon in Australia that Zero now have projects, project accounting in Zero. So today I spent my lunch hour checking it out so you don't have to. Take a look with me and see what you think. Why don't we go on a journey together? and see what it's all about. So we'll select projects, go to overview. So let's go to new project. Let's do a project with Andy. Let's say, yeah, it's a short project. We need to finish it by the end of the month. I think it's going to be a thousand pounds. So let's add a new task. Stage one. We're going to charge for it. Yeah, we're going to charge £50 an hour. Well, I've got, remember, I've only got £1,000 here, so I think that's going to take two hours. Could be a bit smarter with my stages, so let's go completion. Again, £50 an hour, so I'm expecting to have 20 hours. Let's see, that's going to take 10 hours. So that's me created a project and I've added some tasks to it. Is there going to be some expenses? Parking because we're going to go and visit Andy £5 each time. Okay so this is actually entering an expense. Is it chargeable? Yeah so the cost was £5. We're going to charge well. Let's cheat and just charge him a bit extra. Okay, so it cost us £5 for a parking, but we're going to charge out 6 Let's add some time. Let's add an hour. So let's do that. The date to Andy's project. And we spent an hour on stage one. Create. And I'm logged in, so it does say that I'm doing it. We'll add time entry. Stage one. Create. Can I edit this? So I click on it. Four. Does it add four? No, that changes this to four. So now we can see project estimates a thousand pounds. We haven't billed anything. Cost at this stage is 256. Now, are there any reports? So if I go to reports and all reports. Ah, here we go. Project details. So what's it going to give me? It's going to tell me that Andy's project has got a cost of five pound. Billing out six. Stage one task. 250. Oh, so we estimated it was 100 and we spent 250. Okay. Okay, I think it's sorting. Yeah. So we see that estimate. So it's sorted in order high to low, low to high. So back to all reports. So that was project details. Project summary. So here we can see that we expect the project to be a thousand. We've spent five on it. Actual is 256 and we know it's not been invoiced. So let's go back to the project and let's go to the overview again. And it's in progress so we can click on it. So let's add a bit more time to go to add, time entry, create, add an expense. More parking, very original, aren't they? Save. If I go to my profit and loss account, do these travel costs I've input no, so it doesn't link to anything. If you go to projects time instead of overview, there's a timesheet list, so there you can see, and I'm guessing because it's my name, this is my timesheet, that I've input 10 hours, oh I've been busy today. So if I say a new time entry, so you click in these boxes and you, you just add them. So let's add an hour, let's add another hour. And then you can go back to here and you can change them. So we've got enough for today. So we actually forgot to input what we did yesterday. Choose the project. So this time we went time entry rather than through the project. So time entry, you would record your time and then choose the project. So we can see for the week, which is 18th to 24th of September, yeah, I mean, you could choose other weeks. A little bit messy, but they're there. Two hours yesterday and ten hours today. Shame you can't go straight to reports from here. Go back to overview. There's actual hours. So we're over by three. We're over by two. And we're at 61% of our costs. Now let's 
export to invoices. What do we want? So I guess if you want to get a deposit in advance, or if you want to bill for actual work that's been done or a project amount. So let's choose tasks and expenses. And what do we want to bill them for? Okay, quite like this. We'll skip that. We're not ready to bill for the review. So then you can choose different options or we were just able. And then if we say go to draft invoice. Okay, so we're billing Andy, date of the invoice, add in a due date, and it's pulled in the narrative. So that's pretty clever. Let's approve it. We need to see what our code is. I'm not paying attention there. So it's going to be code 200 for sales. Let's try approving it this time. Let's have a look at it. And there's our invoice to Andy, stage one, stage two, and parking. Let's go back. Overview again. 506 invoiced, 104 still to invoice, 610 costs. Yeah, I think it'll take a bit of getting used to, but I get the general gist of what we're trying to do. So we can record time and we can record expenses. Not sure that the expenses link into purchases in any way, but I wouldn't be surprised if that will come at a later date. First thoughts, it'd be really nice if we could go straight to reports from here. But other than that, good start. Let me know what you think. If you find these videos helpful, a thumbs up is always good. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you'll get notified of new videos as and when they appear. Until next time, Happy zeroing!